All right, guys, so we're going to learn how to do a dovetail. So a dovetail is pretty easy. Um, it's when two um, yarns share a string, and they kind of go like this. So one's on one yarn. So if this is a piece of yarn, or the warp strings, and the other warp string, so they're both sharing that warp string. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here I have woven, and I've stopped. So to keep with my actual pattern over here, I stopped weaving to here, I came back, stopped weaving to there, kept doing that, making it, making it a little bit smaller so it looks more like a mountain shape. So now I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to push these bits apart so you can see each piece. All right. So now we can see all those little pieces of where I was weaving to begin with. Okay. So on each of these now, I'm going to just start weaving like normal. So if I started under here, so yeah, under, so over, and then when I come here, I go over that one, pull, I can actually just kind of tuck this back here, this yarn, tuck it back in there, no one has to know, it's okay. I should actually probably zoom in so you guys can actually see this. Probably a smart idea. Okay, there we go. Zoomed in. And I'm going to refocus. Okay. So, here is my last stitch. And if we look, it started by going over, and then I finished by going under. So if I look at this last one down here, I know that I'm going to have to go under this stitch. Because that one was over. So I go under, and then over, and then under, over, under, and it's the same right there, just for the simple fact that that's where I started that yarn. So, Okay, so I'm pulling up, pull down, weaver's bubble. So now I can actually scoot this yarn down with it. So now my next one. Over, under, over, under, over. Now I'm going to go under this one because I'm looking. This one was under, so this one's over. I'm going to share that. I'm going to go that same direction. And I'm going to pull, come up diagonally, weaver's bubble, push it down. And then again, just going back. So I'm going to do this for my whole thing. At any point that I want, again, weaver's bubble, I can change colors and I push that one down as I go. And then again, coming back that same way. Okay. So, with weaving, don't be afraid to experiment. As long as you have things going under and over, and you're keeping that under over pattern, you pretty much can't go wrong with it. I'm gonna come down, push this one down. Again, just gonna keep going. So, again, dovetail, super easy. Just keep going with your pattern. Make sure you keep doing your weaver's bubble. You don't wanna get that hourglass shape. Again, you're getting graded on not having it. Okay, um, so I'm gonna show you, I wanted to keep going for a second and just show you when it comes down here. So I had a yarn change, so I'm actually going to ignore that yarn change. And then when I come back over here, I'm going to go straight across where I had been and then just keep going like nothing ever happened. Bubble, push down my bubble. Keep going back. All right. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know, but I think you should be able to understand how to do this dovetailing, and super easy, not too much to it. Make sure you always do your bubble. And then after each row, just push it down, what you've done, what you've woven before, and what that dovetail is stuck into. Alright guys, if you have any other questions, let me know. But that's the basics.